I think this is a question that could be interpreted differently for sure. Like, adults could think differently. But in my opinion, I think he rejected society because he thought society rejected him. He had his own values, and I think he felt in general that people don't value <laughs> each, other, each other's values. He also doesn't seem to like or take interest in, like, superficial things like society does as a whole. And he doesn't really understand why people take interest in those things. Instead of valuing each other, they value superficial things. I think that for sure, as young people, they think of doing what he did. Running away and, like, having their own rules. Like, when you're younger and when kids play for, like, house, for example, uh, they're, like, the boss and they get the, the their own rules and they get to decide. But when you're a kid, you're more of a spectator of the real world and, like, not necessarily living in it. You get to see, like, from afar, like, problems with, like, adults and, like, stuff like that. And it makes it easier to recognize problems and what they are. Young people are misheard and misunderstood. They're not taken seriously like an adult, me for example. Also, young people are more impulsive and also unable to really understand the consequences. Impulsiveness could tie to, like, Chris running away quickly and discreetly. This is a complicated question. Yeah, but when you really think about it, Chris went out to the wild in order to find his own happiness. He set aside everybody's values. He thought going to the wild was the key to finding his happiness. But instead, it took him living in the wild for him to walk into happiness. Yeah. When he was dying, there were flashbacks <laughs> to his family, and they were hugging him. He was having a vision of coming home and his family finally seeing him. Yeah, so that would be him walking into his happiness when he died. He finally took value in his family instead of, like, compared to him rejecting the existence of his family and being angry and, and in denial. In his fi final moments, he realized that people and relationships are valuable. He spent the whole film trying to get away from the people and away from society just for him to realize that people are what should be valued the most. Love and family, too. And when he was young, obviously family and love weren't valued in his household. And from, when he, from what he learned and saw with his parents, he didn't know any better. He was just too angry and felt too misheard to accept that concept. I don't think it was cool. Me either. I, I mean, I think it was necessary almost. Like, from our perspective as young people, I don't think any parent should make their child feel that feel make their child feel that way a, a child should never feel how Chris did to the point where they completely abandon their identity and life to leave I don't think any kid should be driven to the point of helplessness and frustration with society etc <clears throat> I do think uh, Chris feels he was too cruel throughout his journey though he meets a lot of people in his journey that give him insights about life and while those were helpful Ron definitely made the most impact it kind of seemed like a father figure that Chris never properly had. With his parents, he didn't really get to experience that. And Ron got to teach him to understand the value of family. So much so that when he was slowly dying, he understood that he'd never see his parents again. He wishes he could go home and surprise them. I don't think Chris should have to forgive his parents. He doesn't owe them anything. But if he survived and was able to see them, I'm sure he would simply because he values them more than anything now. Forgi forgiveness and less hate is way better. It's better than denial and resentment. He found his own truth, the way he thought truth could be found in freedom. He, w he wanted that because he felt being away from society was better because you weren't being judged by society. You were only being judged by yourself. There's no judgment in a world but your own. I think this poem is r beautifully written and Chris's story is a direct representation of it. Chris prefers the company of nature, and he doesn't think nature is ju ju judgmental. He finds peace and solitude away from society, and shows that solitude doesn't have to mean sadness and loneliness. It can mean joy and freedom. And the line, I love not man, not less, but nature more, shows that Chris wasn't just someone who is depressed and hates the world along with society. He just values nature more. He values freedom more, he doesn't hate people, and that shows when Chris meets multiple people along the way and creates relationships with them, he learns something from each person. And in the book called The Wild, Chris can relate to Buck. Chris is unable to fit in with humans and wants to be with the wild, where he thinks he truly belongs. He has trouble fitting in to one side, but ultimately he wants to be in the wild. 
The relationships Chris made impacted him in different ways. As a child, he didn't understand love due to his parents. Meeting people who are his parents' age with wisdom definitely helped him understand the importance of relationships. Like I said before, Ron definitely had the most impact on him. He was the one who admired Chris the most, whereas some other people who Chris met thought he was crazy for trying to escape society. They were all very significant characters that all helped Chris move forward to his ultimate goal. For example, Ron taught him about belts. And you can see Chris applies that knowledge when he's rapidly losing weight and dying. Another helped him remember what to do after killing a moose, even if he didn't do it correctly. Small things like these. People were sort of inspired, but surprised Chris with his intelligence guidance. He would rather use that in a while. They all see him as a valuable friend. If I had met Chris, I would have thought he was brave but crazy for trying to do what he was. People liked his honesty, his views on life, and his wisdom for being so young. I think that being strong doesn't always mean that you are strong. For example, someone who is depressed can put on a front that they are happy without anyone knowing the truth. You can be strong but feel very, very weak. It is more important for someone to feel strong, feel happy, feel fulfilled than someone being strong with no real strength behind it. Chris was being strong the entire film until his final moments. He was holding it so much and when asked about his parents, he wouldn't say anything. It was bottled up. And he had the front of strength when really his heart was full of anger, confusion, and hurt. He was able to be strong until he fully felt, until he truly felt strong, letting himself feel everything he couldn't before. It's important because it teaches young people that they truly can follow their dreams and their fate. Chris shows us that there's so much more to value than superficial things that we don't need. He's a symbol of freedom and can inspire people to actually do things that they think of doing. He was the one who acted on his impulse that normally we would all just keep as impulses.